I first started gymnastics, I was three years old, and it was something I just got into. And I did a couple other sports, but then I decided that this was the one I wanted to do for the rest of my like, life. So I train 20 hours a week and about 10 hours of driving. I am here five days a week. And basically my day is get up, go to school, um, then come straight to practice, go home, homework, eat dinner, and then go to bed and do it all over again. I first came to DMGC when I was 14 years old and I was just looking for somewhere I could up my skill level. I came from a YMCA, so there I was not taught the fundamentals or basics correctly. And so my mom was like, I found this gym, let's just try it out. So I came and I watched a practice and I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it. So I started coming here a couple days a week and still going to the YMCA. And then eventually the YMCA didn't like that I was coming here, so they told me I wasn't allowed to come back if I was gonna do both. So that pretty much made the decision for me that I was gonna come here full time. And then a couple months within being here, I was moved in, into Dominique's group and I trained with her f since I was 15. So I've been training with her for about three years now. It's a good effort, as always, okay? You always give it your best. And the front pike pike was a little flat. So when you ran, you caught it like this and you just couldn't get back for the front to go up. So it just went down and down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then if you, if you give yourself that start, it automatically on the second one's not gonna go higher. It's just because you're giving yourself that disadvantage from the get go. So if we can get this, get this open from the beginning when you punch, you'll be able to take that first one higher and be able to be positioned better for the next one if you open up correctly. But if you hang on to it too long, you're coming into the floor at this angle. So the next one's just gonna be more, right? So why don't we go and do another one of those? Jojo had the longest way to go. Jojo had so many fundamental issues that we had to go and resolve and kind of go through cleaning everything up that it's amazing she's been able to progress in two and a half almost three years the way that she has i mean i always tell her and she always wants more and more and i'm like jojo so these things you can't push sometimes more than um the time allows because we want to be here and but i'm like but look at how far you've come and i've told her that at meets and always she just you know for the life of her she could not land a beam routine in competition. And I'm sitting there behind the scenes always like praying. I was like, just come on, just stay on the beam, stay on the beam. Um, because I know how hard she worked and how hard for a year she would beat herself up on the beam nonstop. I can't tell you how many times that girl's toenails fallen off her, her toe and her foot is bled all over the place and she gets back up, she'll tape it up, go get it taken care of and come back and be ready for another day. And I mean, she's had so many things like that and ankle rolls and just, she stuck it out. Beam has been a struggle for me. And I used to go to meets and it was like the event that my parents would look away on when I would get up to compete. When I came here first, I could not even do a back handspring without putting my hands on the beam. And within three years, Dominique has gotten me to hit a beam routine, which was a big accomplishment because for many years I wasn't even making a beam routine or even having my hands on, I would just slip off the beam. Being able to hit a beam routine after three years has been a pretty big confidence boost, but I'm also very thankful because I'm not sure many coaches would be able to stay on top of me like Dominique has to correct and fix all the bad habits. Come on, sit square. Pull up tall, left side, left side. That time we crunched, it's all right, get it on the next one. Come in tight and impact tight to the beam. Open the shoulders, quick. Come on, you got this. Elbows tight. Arms, arms, shoulders, shoulders. Yeah, get those shoulders up, all right. We'll take it, okay? Squeeze your ears, right arm. Right off the beam, that right arm's gotta come to the ear. Now pull up and confidence. A little confidence, Joe. You got this. 
Just look more aggressive. Beam is about confidence. Now big switch leap, tight back knee, tight. And keep your arms together. Up, 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 up. Okay. Keep the body side there a little more. You turn it a little too much. All right, now be aggressive here, come on. Big lift, lift, shoulders, shoulders. Okay, all right, we'll take it, come on. It was hard at first, the adjustment was hard, um, but the type of gymnast she is now to have been able to put some type of a series on the balance beam when she couldn't even land a back handspring, that's a big deal. Um, and beam is still a struggle, but she's actually been able to hit finally this season. And it just, I think it shows her that, you know, anything is possible when you put your mind to it. And she, I believe, wants to be a doctor one day. And all of this training is going to help her for that. It's going to help her mindset. It's going to help her, um, the way she dealt with struggle and adversity. But all of that is going to help her into this new phase of life too. And she decides to move on. And we only have a little bit of time left together. And, you know, I kind of am cherishing it, to be honest, because she's just such a good kid. And I always tell her how proud I am of her. And when she's struggling, I try not to let her beat herself up too much, but we try to taper back. And I, I try to reason with her and just, okay, where can we meet? How can we make this successful for her? Cause I don't want her to always feel like she's struggling, but, um, but she stuck around, you know, so many kids that were at her age would have given up a long time ago. She's just one of those gritty kids. She probably has some of the most grit in the entire gym. And no, yeah, that's a badge of honor, I think. My like grit to not give up was probably taught from me most by my parents. It's just something they always had told me and my siblings that you just keep working at something. I mean, life isn't fair. You might not always be the best, but if you put in the hard work, you can get there if you want to. I would rather take a gritty kid any day than a lazy, talented kid. So um, JoJo is a clear example of someone who has so much grit and is willing to put in the effort and the hard work. And no matter how many times she falls, she gets back up again. And that's admirable. And that's what is such a great example in the gym. I will take 100 JoJo's you know, rather than someone who's super talented, who gives me attitude, sass, and all of that. And yes, there, there's fine to have that too, but, but in my heart of hearts, I would rather work with that kid who wants it so badly, but maybe didn't quite have all the talent in the world, because I know how much they'll appreciate it. And I think as a coach, you see those things, and you want to help those kids so much, because they're a bit of the underdog. And I think the example of JoJo is just... It's always been a good one, and I think the girls notice that, and I think they see it and hopefully look to it as inspiration that, you know, if she could do it and she came in late and she doesn't complain, you know, she'll, she'll rarely complain. I have to pull it out of her. Okay, what's going on? What's hurting you? I need to know because I see you holding your wrist. I see you holding, you know, massaging your foot. Something's going on. And so I have to read their signals because sometimes they don't want to say. And I have to pull it out of them because I'm a very aware coach and I, I notice the body language very, very quickly. And I can tell when my athlete's not acting like herself. So I do see myself as a leader. I try to like be a model for the younger ones, especially because they're still maturing and I've already hit that maturity. So if they have someone to look up to and if they can see like that if you don't give up, you can accomplish things. And I just try to be like an inspiration for them. You don't have the plus one, okay? If you don't make the pressure set today, it's just like three in a row or five. Okay. All right, so that's better. You didn't fall the normal way, okay? The fact that Dominique just calmly talks to me and in a motherly way tries to help me through the event I think is a big difference from most gyms where the coach would just get frustrated and probably would just give up on me. Well, I know more than anybody what it's like to push yourself beyond capacity and I've had to do it my whole life, I feel like. So I think it's a sensitive topic to me because yes, I expect high level of discipline and high level of work ethic because I put it in as well. But we have to remember as coaches, they're minors and they're children. And your job is to also make sure that you're keeping them safe and their well-being is placed first. So even if I as an adult can exert myself, 
I have other tools that I've learned through yoga, through, you know, um, meditation and through other areas that I can calm myself down and try to breathe, even though it's hard some days. Um, but it is my job to try to be intuitive enough to check in with my athletes and make sure I read their signals very well. And I find that my experience in that for sure is a step and a cut above the rest because I did it and, and I know what it's like when I'm pushing myself, I know what it's like to, do, to overdo it. And I know that our kids are still young, growing teenagers and you have to make sure that when their body is needing a rest that you're giving it to them because pounding the heck out of them is not going to help them so you just have to be smart in those decisions and we alter the plan if needed but I think that's one advantage too that you're going to have with me as a coach is that I'm pretty intuitive with all of that as well chest back Jojo and up up all right all right come on All right, but steady core. I think gymnastics teaches you about a lot. It teaches you about um, time management, um, staying healthy, working hard, and I just am grateful to have learned these things through the sport because I think those will definitely help me later on in life, especially if I'm hoping to go far and go off to college with hopes of doing something in medicine. Those um, aspects will really be important.